Let's see what happens here. What the hell is going on? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. I have no idea what that was all about. I have uh, I have given the car, well, this will be an interesting drive through a parking lot. <laughs> I've given the car a random destination in Springfield that looked like it was going to involve a number of interesting, you know, city streets to drive on and stuff and hopefully avoid most of the highway. I think I did that. Again, not familiar with this area. I don't know what this car is doing. This is the wildest thing. <laughs> this is the Springfield Mall, by the way, and it is having a complete conniption fit about this. I'm going to see what it does. I mean, there's nobody behind me, so I'm just like, let's just go ahead and see what this... <laughs> It's got it. Okay, the turn signal turned off. So I think it needs to go left when it gets out to this. Yeah, it needs to go left when it gets out to the street. Okay, a little jerky. That's an interesting beginning to this whole thing. I have never tried to drive this car in like a large parking lot for a long period of time. Okay, it's creeping out, but it's doing okay. Again, a little bit shy about going. There's a person coming. Okay, this is the kind of thing where it needs to be, once it's committed to doing this, it needs to be more aggressive about it. Also, it's waiting for this guy. That is a very generous uh, thing, so <laughs> I'll wave him on. <laughs> he must be a Tesla guy because the supercharger is like right over there where I just charged at. This thing's nice and full now. It's got uh, 275 miles of range on it, so that was it was it was getting down before. And believe me, an ex a long extension cord with a 120 outlet only gives you about three miles per hour, so it's pretty sad. Anyway. Autopilot is creeping. We're going to see how long. It says it's going to take us 10 minutes to get to this destination. Honestly, I just I just dropped a pin um, at, a, at a pretty back. Oh, it got lucky. It got the light. It's got a yield, although it stopped at the yield sign. All right, let's see what happens here. There's a Tesla coming. There's another car coming. After this, it should hopefully go. It should not have stopped at that yield sign. It should have actually gone, but it's okay. There's a person behind me, but it's going. Excellent. I've got my student driver thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> very aggressive. Very aggressive. It's like, when it when it goes, it goes. Okay, so now that it's on the roads, uh, okay. I have no idea. Literally have no idea. I dropped a pin. Oh, goodness gracious. What is this thing doing? <laughs> well, it's been an adventure so far, that's for sure. Um, I guess it's in the correct lane. I honestly have no idea. Again, this thing's navigating, so I'm, I'm just... I'm just a passenger at this point. I'll take over if I need to, but uh, it knows where it's going and I have not a clue. So I think it's going to avoid the highway here, which is good because I wanted to do that because the highway is boring at this point because, again, we're not on the new stack. This is a whole big mess of stuff. I didn't... It breaks. Okay, I'm going to just tap that. Just it, it should not have slowed down there. I think the lights were very weird. They had louvers in front of them. And so I think the poor car was a little confused as to what was going on. Also, it just turned its left turn signal on for a second, which is bizarre. All right, so now I think it's going to jump over the highway. All right, let's turn, just turn the max speed down just a tad because I don't know. Okay, there's a yellow light, so it should stop. Yep, okay. Good for it. <laughs> it's behaving. <laughs> it's always good to see it obey the, the, the law here. So, all right. So I think we're going to hop over the highway, then we're going to go on Backlick Road. I've been around, my parents have lived here forever, but I kind of just go down to Washington, D.C., to the gym, to the grocery store, uh, a couple of destinations. I don't know the area very well because, of course, I'm spending most of my time being with them, not messing around driving random places in Washington, D.C. area. Again, Springfield, Virginia, but basically Washington, D.C. So, okay, so it's going to have to make a right-hand turn up here eventually, but I think we're in the correct lane, so hopefully I would have, I would have started. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, and it's making the turn here, so that's good. All righty. Oh, that's really cool that it sees the bike lane thingy. That's awesome. I have not seen that visualization before right there, the little guy on the bike. That's that's pretty cool that it sees that. That And hopefully, since it sees it, it actually understands what that means. So fingers crossed that it actually understands that if you see a cyclist in that lane, you should be avoiding it. So we'll see. All right. So it's got the right-hand turn signal on, so it's not showing the little curvy thing yet, but there it goes. Okay. Let's see if we can do better than that truck, because that truck just hit the curb. 
So, all right, let's see. Also, if it decides it wants to get out of this lane, I don't, oops, okay, that guy's turning, so we're good, we're good. Okay, buddy, you gotta go. <laughs> Nobody was behind us, so we're okay. A little lack of aggression, jeez, okay, <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Have not had to touch anything yet, that was a little dicey, it's the steering wheels being a little jerky. Again, certainly the first time this car has driven in this area, I have no earthly idea if, uh, okay, oh, I guess this is a one-way road. I thought I was trying to get over onto the other side, but this is one way, so it's okay. Um, again, I have no earthly idea. This guy's got his turn signal on. I don't know why the car is, okay. All right, okay, okay. That was done with confidence. That was good. All right, so like I said, I'm, I mean, I'm a, I'm monitoring the car, of course, because it's in beta, and I have my left hand on the steering wheel. It is driving really close to this left side. Oof, uncomfortably close for me. A little bit of a phantom brake there. Oh, I guess it wasn't, actually, because it was preparing to make a left-hand turn. Cool. Uh, anyway, so I'm monitoring the car. I'm, I'm keeping up with it. I've got my hand on the wheel, left hand over here that you probably can't see. But, uh, but basically, because I have no earthly idea what we're doing. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Ooh. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so this is a one-way road, so I really only need to look to the right, but holy mackerel, this is scary as hell. All right, well, I've put it into quite the interesting situation. Let's see what happens. There's a lot of traffic coming from the right. It should, I would assume, creep. It says it says creep checking for visibility, but it's not doing anything. There's nobody behind me, so I'm just going to let it kind of do its thing for a minute. All right, let's see. There is a lot of traffic, and it is blind. There, there are cars parked on the road. <laughs> I, I am actually rather scared. I think there's a light up there, so hopefully eventually the light will happen. The car, oh gosh, now there's somebody behind me, so I'm going to have to... Uh, but honestly, I... <sighs> I might need to make a left here just because... Okay, it should... Nope, not yet. Oh, I, I can't see a blessed thing. So, I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. Okay, I think I could go now. It should... Nope. Oh, golly. There is a light up there, so I can see that. So eventually there's going to be a light, which is going to... Oh, don't creep out too far. Okay, it's creeping. Now it should go. It's got to go. Okay, I added gas. I just... It started to go, but I added a little acceleration to it. So, all right. Handled that car well. So, yeah, I did have to touch the accelerator, mostly because I was just terrified. I, I couldn't see well enough myself to ensure that there was enough room. But anyway, that, okay, I've got to remember that because that was a really good test. That was horrible. That, that's one of those things where as a human driver, I would try to avoid that as much as possible. So of course I'm gonna make the autopilot have to deal with it because I'm just mean that way. So, all right, so here is an unprotected left with, uh, we have a stop this direction, but nobody else. It should definitely go right now. There's a car coming, but they are far away. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. All right. All right, it did that again a little less assertively than I wish. It, uh, it, it should, again, apologies about the, there's stuff sloshing around in the back. We have a bunch of gifts and everything in the back of the car, so, because we do Christmas at Thanksgiving since all of us travel uh, at, at, at Christmas time itself. So, anyway, so apologies about the, the sound of things sliding around back there. Usually I try to keep the car a little bit cleaner than that. Uh, at this point, it looks like we're kind of on the path to just make a go of it here for the rest of it. This should actually all be relatively easy because this looks like all just a neighborhood. Uh, I don't know how to make sure I get back to that other intersection. That was a really good test. But it did do it. It just didn't do it assertively enough. And honestly, I would not have personally gone before that. I know I don't have the wide-angle camera, so you couldn't see it. But I couldn't see... This is a four-way stop, so it should hopefully just... Yep, okay. That was... I mean, yeah. It stopped completely, but for just for a second, so that was actually very good. Anyway, I, I would not have gone before the car did. I just had to tap on the accelerator. There was no way. There was just... Every time I would look up, the car would sort of appear between other cars. So I think actually that the Tesla did really well because that was an absolutely atrocious situation to be in. So good for it for doing that. And let's see how it handles this van that's hanging out over here. It's a little close to cars in my personal opinion. This is actually rather beautiful back here. Wow, I have no idea where I am, but this is kind of cool. So there we go. 
Anyway, uh, it's slowing down. I'm not sure why it did that. So that, there was no reefer. I, I mean, it was just, maybe it thought that was a light. There was like a, a wire across the road and maybe it thought it was a light. So maybe that's what it was. Anyway, we are closing in on this random destination that I dropped a pin on. No, go away. <laughs> I hope that didn't interrupt the video. So <laughs> as soon as I try to do a video, it's always that kind of thing happens. So let's see. Again, we should arrive at the destination without any real problems. This is just all a back road. I picked the most out of the way place possible, so it would have to go through as much city driving as possible. All right. Making progress here. We should be just about there. Yep, okay. Anyway, like I said, I have no earthly idea where we are. <laughs> We're just someplace in Springfield. <laughs> Somebody who's from Springfield is probably like, oh, I know where that is, but like I said, I tried to pick the most out of the way backward, backwards place possible. So, so we're going to end up in front of this house with the trampoline. No, maybe a little further. I don't know what it's going to do when it reaches its destination. If it's just going to keep on going or if it will stop. Uh, okay. All right. It stopped. All right. I'm going to make a quick check on the camera and make sure that it's still working out of the way. I'm gonna... All right, we're still recording. Okay. Okay. So thoughts on that drive? Uh, I did the first drive. If you haven't seen that one, you can check that one out too. But this drive, I was very impressed. It was the parking lot situation, not so good. That was a crazy thing that it started with. Uh, I think if it had made a right-hand turn instead of going straight, I'm not sure why it decided to go straight, but it did get out of the situation. It was kind of goofy. And it was a little awkward the way it worked, but I didn't have to do anything. The only thing that I had to do the entire drive was touch the accelerator pedal when it got into that ridiculous situation because it was it was going a little less than confidently, and that could have been dangerous. So the only real complaint, and again, I've seen other people say this too, is that assertiveness. It's like once the car gets into the intersection, it needs to have an understanding that you got to get out of the intersection. It's more dangerous to go slow at that point than it is to go assertively and confidently. So that's what I would say to the Tesla folks. I don't know how you teach a neural network to do that. I don't know how you create a loss function, but maybe what you can do is just a time of getting through the intersection. So however many meters the intersection is, you should have a certain amount of seconds to get through the intersection uh, you know, given how many meters it is. So I, again, I'm just throwing out a number cause I don't have a good thing, but let's say that the intersection is 30 meters wide. No, that's way too wide. Say so 15 meters wide that you then have like two seconds or something to get through or three seconds to get through that 15 meter intersection. So that means it's got to accelerate faster. And I would build that into the loss function so that if it takes longer than that to get through the intersection, or if the person has to tap the accelerator pedal, either of those things, give a ding on the training. That's what I would do to fix the problem. I'm kind of naive about it because I don't know, you know, I've seen their hydronets and everything, but I don't know how the individual things get trained. But anyway, that's what I do. The only, that's the only real problem I have is it's just not quite assertive enough when it gets into an intersection, it's got to get out of the intersection. That's, that's got to become part of the explicit training that they do for the neural networks. Aside from that, absolutely fantastic drive. Again, parking lot was super awkward, but everything else it did really, really well on. So really good job, Tesla. I'm, I mean, again, 10.3 to 10.4 to 10.5. Now I have three data points and the speed at which this thing is improving is mind boggling. And I think by the time they get to version 11, unless there's major backward steps, like with the highway stack or something, I really think we are very, very close to having something that will effectively be level four, not officially, right? Again, NHTSA or whatever, a regulatory body is unlikely to approve it for quite a while, but that the feature, it will be feature complete for level four autonomy. Again, I think a year might actually start to be a little bit pessimistic. It might actually be able to do that in, uh, you know, eight months, something like that, nine months. Again, it just depends. The pace of progress is ridiculous. Anyway, great job. I've had a long enough video going anyway, but uh, really good job. <laughs> nice work, Tesla. Fantastic, everybody. I will talk to you all later.
Bye-bye.